Hi YouTube friends, Brad of Silver Lining Daydreams. Today in this video, we wanna build a distressed forward mantle beam with a French cleat that's gonna look decades old. Is it as easy to build as they say? Let's get started and find out. I would definitely spend the time to cherry pick through the wood at the big box store you're gonna get the wood from. We were very selective in the wood stack, picking the straightest and best looking wood that we could find. I would also suggest that you build this wood mantle right away when you get the wood because when we purchased the wood we brought it inside the house we laid it flat on the floor and about two weeks later I started to build with it well a couple of the pieces kind of bowed and twisted a little bit so um, remember this is pine wood so it definitely can move on you Make sure that you wipe off all the excess glue right away because you're going to save yourself a lot of grief later because that glue is going to be hard to get off down the road and uh, you will definitely notice it after you stain it if you have glue left on the wood. A little too much. It can go this way into the mantle would be fine. And we'll just come down here. Ah, this is the tricky part. That's okay. We're going to have this against a brick fireplace, so this will be fine because the brick's not even anyhow. But I got to be more careful. And then hold on, get a couple over here. I'll double check. Goes like that. This. Okay, it's correct. It's correct. Okay. Thank you. That would not be good. No. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. babe. So now that we have these brad nails and glue holding this French cleat on, we're gonna sink a screw here and there just to give it a lot of strength. But before that, I think I'm gonna build the rest of the beam so I got just a little bit of wiggle room. So I think we'll attach these two and then attach it to the other two pieces that are already together. So I think what I'll do is turn it back around, get it started, and then show you what I'm doing because it's gonna be too hard to kind of hold it all and do this at the same time. This is the face, the most part you see. So now we're going to put the two parts together. There's the French cleat. So basically it's gluing this to this, the 245s, and then I'm just using the brad nailer to get that all together. And then once those are on, then I'll get the end caps. All right, so we got the end started with the brad nailer. Let's see if you can see it better this way. So you can see how we're off. So this piece of wood is bowed. You know, of course we might not have nailed it on perfectly straight. So it sounds easy to do, but you know, working with these 45s with this wood isn't the easiest. So we're gonna stand this piece of wood up and pull it apart and then Brad nail this end piece on. So I need to take this top piece and push it down if I can. Otherwise I have to cut a new piece. Okay, so sorry we couldn't video this, but Michelle helped me. This is what it looks like much better. So this will all get sanded. I think we can get rid of a little ridge there. There's a little ridge here. So yeah, here's the other side now and we're off. So this piece and this piece, we're gonna have to squeeze together a little bit so that this piece fits better. All right, so I went overkill with the glue. Most of it's gonna go on the inside where you can't see it. So yeah, we'll get this cap on. All right, so we'll squeeze that together. Brad nail that on. And here's what it looks like now. We've got lots of brad nails. This piece here can be sanded down. This can be filled with wood filler. It looks worse there, but it's actually not that bad. So yeah, it was kind of a beast to do. Sorry we couldn't film it. Yeah, I had Michelle helping me. It was all hands on deck. We just couldn't do any video. To straighten our French cleat, I needed to add three scabs without breaking it. Then after I was sure that the French cleat was straight, then I added the wood screws for structure. Some will use painter's tape to kind of hold everything together while they brad nail it, but that has its limitations too. Putting our five foot wood mantle beam together would have been much easier if I had two people helping hold it together while I brad nailed. Okay, you can see that it came down there now. So this is laying flat, but I'm kind of risking cracking things here, but I think everything's fine. All right, so I'm glad I double checked everything. I added another scab because when I lowered the French cleat here, it made the French cleat here come up a little bit. Unintended consequences of moving things. So you can see there's a gap here now. So this cleat at this part has to go up. And now our gap is gone. And now the French cleat is totally spot on.
Yeah. It's all even. Perfect. There's a little bit of a gap at the top there. Love how this looks. Paint can opener, different type paint can opener, some hardware for building, sharp points, some chains, small Phillips head screwdriver, small owl, big screw. It's brought the level out in case I want to make a somewhat straight line if I scratch it. So these will be like beetle holes. As I go in, I'll dig deeper, and then at the end, I'll come out more, I think. Really like this look. Whoop. Didn't want that. the holes where the nails are and where I poked. So this is the next day and you can tell where I didn't get enough of the glue off. You can see it's lighter colored. So there's a spot here and there. I really thought I got it off. Actually I don't want to spread the glue. You're better off getting the glue off right away. Soaking in the sponge, so I'm going to go a little heavy at first. Wanted to get down into the holes. Missed some coverage here. So I'm going to actually press down a little bit. I know this is overkill, but again, I want it in all the cracks and in all the holes. Super pleased. Love it. ideas what this thing weighs? Anybody want to take a guess? Blisters, I forgot my gloves. Afraid to let go, is it all the way on the cleat? Must be, otherwise you'd fall right off, right? I would think so. Let's get the flashlight, see if I can see back there. Oh, there it wasn't all the way go. down, okay. Yeah, I was like, I okay. don't think that's on. There you go. Now it looks level. Keep in mind while you're building this that you're building a distressed faux wood mantle. So you can make mistakes. This is going to be very forgiving. When you look at the whole mantle hanging above your fireplace when you're all done, all those little mistakes sort of blend in. And if it is something noticeable, there's a hack to fix it and make it look all right. So I think most people with average skills should be able to make this. So here you have it. This is our faux wood mantle beam. So it's slightly off. This could come up a little bit. The French cleat could be shimmed a little bit, but to be honest, I'm just not comfortable with this being so big just sitting on a French cleat. So I'm going to probably put some more scabs on the left and right of the French cleat that's on the brick, 
and I'll probably use a leg bolt and I'll really get that in. And then once this sits on there, you'll still be able to take it off, put it back on. Then I can drill a hole down into the beef of the wood here and also here, and that's not going to move. Um, because I know our grandkids are going to all pile up around here roasting marshmallows and that, and someone's going to eventually pull on it. So um, I am super happy with this wood mantle. This is like fantastic. Sorry the lighting is poor in here. We're thinking about possibly whitewashing the brick. We're not sure we're going to live with it a while. We know it'll pop better against white, but after we paint everything else white in here, we're going to just step back, live with it, and see, you know, do we want to whitewash this? So I think we'll just have to decide later. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. When we bought our house about 20 years ago, I bought this at the Habitat for Humanity, the resale store. So this is actually a stair handle, you know, some sort of commercial building or something. And then I just cut this at a 45. I can't remember if I bought these. I probably already had these. And this was going to be temporary until we could get a real mantle. 